abstract brain waves. Game genie in the beanie. We ain't on the same stage, leveled up. Uh, the epitome of technique. Can't survive in my current thought. Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. Back with some Pokemon Go, okay? So here's the deal. Last video we talked about Go Fest and the spectacle they had in Chicago. And when I say spectacle, I don't mean that like a bad thing. It was just what it was, right? And then I had went back and forth between the footage I had and then me in that present moment or present moments. And what we were talking about is a new gotcha, okay? So here's the current gotcha, right? And by current, I mean, it's just the gotcha. There is the gotcha evolved. There's a gotcha that has like a battery pack that this thing rests inside of it. All those are good choices. The evolved being probably the better choice. Now I did do a video on that where I showed you the differences, but I didn't open the evolve. I'm kind of regretting it, but that might just be a little bit of FOMO on my part, mainly because the trainer club, congratulations, has his own gotcha. Now it's by Code Junkies, they made the gotcha. Now again, let me go ahead and say, this is not sponsored by Niantic or Nintendo. They'd probably prefer that you had the Pokemon, um, the, um, I don't even, I, I'm, words escape me right now. But they'd rather have their version, which, you know, you tap the button, or, you know, the, the Pokeball Go Plus, right? So there we go, Poke, uh, Pokemon Plus, Pokemon Go Plus, there you go. Because I can talk, I can put words together. <laughs> Pokemon Go Plus, they'd rather you have that. Why? Because that's something that they sponsor, they put together, um, and they want you to play in a way that you're still focused on the game. So it still takes you time to sit here and mash a button, but with this thing, you don't need to do that. Not only that, this does not require you to use any batteries. That's what I love most about it. You know, it's probably neck and neck with the ability to not have to mash a button. You know, when you're driving, you're riding somewhere, this is what you want to have because you're not supposed to be playing while you're driving. But if you are focused on the road like you're supposed to be, and this thing is going on, maybe you'll catch a couple of Pokemon. That's the best you can hope for or well, that's the most you can hope for in addition to maybe it's spinning some stops and maybe getting you some shinies. That out of the way, this is great for one device, one phone. If you try to use it on another phone, it has to forget the pair settings on your other phone, on, your, on the phone you used it on first, right? Well, this Trainer Club version, it allows you to use it on two devices. So what would be dope is the backup account I use, which is on this phone I'm using to record this video, if I could then catch Pokemon spin stops on both devices. This one could just be doing something completely different with Pokemon Go in the background while I'm focused on this game and it's also getting stuff for me. So every community day, I could take advantage of that. But that's just for me, right? There are people who have, you know, a partner, maybe some children with them. Instead of buying multiple of these things, that's the one for you. And this is not me advertising for Trainer Club. I think they pretty much did that on their own. The gripe I would have with it is that it says this is the only Pokemon Go channel you need. Really? Now, maybe he had nothing to do with that. Maybe that's just what Code Junkies wanted to put in there rubs me the wrong way and it just makes me think like what we're all thinking while trainer clubs is um uh, you know a relevant channel and people know who he is and everything they don't know who he is as much as they do reversal or master holly pokemon master holly or or even nick trainer tips right but my speculation i don't actually know this is just my speculation so don't sit there and say, well, the yellow hat guy who nobody knows said this and blah, 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 and he's attacking. I'm not attacking. What I'm saying is, I know in the past, Nick has been kind of protecting his brand and saying, hey, such and such is endorsed by Niantic and Pokemon Company, so I'm using that. Whereas you don't even really see him use any of that. But on the other hand, 
He doesn't really talk about this because it's not sponsored by them. So in order to keep, you know, his relationship with them probably in good standing, he probably was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to promote any of these things. Me, on the other hand, I'm just trying to play efficiently. And if that means using a device like this, which it doesn't give you any more advantages in the game, it acts just like a Pokemon Go Plus, okay? It behaves just like that. The difference is you're not having to mash your hand to tap things. Just a bunch of settings on here. It gets Pokemon for you and uh, you can go on about your business. So if you're working and uh, you don't want to constantly check your phone, this thing will just have a screen lit up and let you know. So mine is getting worn down here. It doesn't come with this black band. You can get this on Amazon. I have... Uh, pretty much beaten the life out of this thing. Even the clip is gone. There's holes in the holes. So when I say I have FOMO, it's like, man, I wish I had one of those, you know, new gotchas, those gotcha evolves, I should say. It's a gotcha evolve that he's got coming out that's able to link to two devices. But while I don't really need it, it would be great to replace this dinosaur with something a little more modern, maybe more efficient catching Pokeballs, because Lord knows you, use, you have 100 balls. You're gonna be left with like 20 of them in a few hours, if maybe just a couple of hours, <laughs> and less Pokemon to show for it. Because remember, these things only use Pokeballs. They don't use all the others. It'd be nice if they did, but in order to stay within the guidelines, of how the Go Plus works, this can only do what the Go Plus does, okay? That out of the way, because I know that was a mouthful. What we're gonna talk about today is some leaks that we've seen, some data mining stuff that I'm not sure other people are talking about. I'm sure they are, but none of the main channels that I look at have said anything yet. Probably by the time I put this video up, if I'm being honest, you'll see these other guys already talking about it, but let's go ahead and make this video anyway. Ready, set, go. See what I did there? All right, so this is coming from Bleeding Cool. Now, this is a comic book website, most, you know, over anything else. And what they've got here, they also evidently play Pokemon Go. I just happened to see this in my news feed, and here it is, July 25th, 2021. Data miners discovered major new content added to Pokemon Go. While readers should keep in mind that all the data, data mine information is subject to change, some of the biggest breaking news stories in the history of the game have been preceded by data mines. This is true. Take everything with a grain of salt that this article has. This is coming from Bleeding Cool. This is not a poke, this isn't leak duck or any of that stuff. This is just what I'm showing you here. Let's dive into the information. So I'm not going to read all this. You can go check this article out for yourself. Just type in, you know, these keywords in bold here and you can see all that the key takeaway in this first paragraph here is there's a ash greninja from the anime ash ketchum he's got his own greninja that has like its own you know evolution not really an evolution but its own kind of thing and then you've got the primal forms of kyogre and groudon now while i might be tired of kyogre and groudon i'm not really tired of groudon actually um uh, They've got those forms there, and I don't know if those primal forms, they're going to release them shiny, but they're definitely going to have these forms and then probably bring them back around shiny, if we know them, to be honest. It would be nice if they just said, boom, primal forms, and the primal forms can be shiny out the gate, but odds are they're just going to give you these primal forms, and they'll be shiny later, or they won't be shiny at all. That's, that's, that's what I'm banking on. So that's what they've shown here, and... Uh, yeah, due to its bond with Ash, Greninja is able to pull off, you know, that kind of form. That's kind of its mega evolution, according to this article. Hoopa, confined and unbound. This is key because this will happen whether this article is correct or not. Hoopa is the mythical that Pokemon Go Fest 2021 alluded to as the culprit for the hoops in the skies that brought about all those legendary raids. The aforementioned egg I was talking about. It's supposed to be because of Hoopa. That was what they were going for there. All right. Hoopa has two forms. Ignore that background noise. I'm doing some laundry while I'm uh, chatting with y'all, multitasking and all. The two forms it has has got one that looks more like a combo of Mew and Jirachi. That's the one that you see currently on the loading screen right now. 
And, uh, oh, look, Dialga and Five Star Raids. That's what Pokemon Go was trying to tell me. But we've, we've actually got one, but we're going to talk about that after this. And then it's got a second form, Umbound, which looks more menacing, more monstrous. It's got multiple floating heads, according to this. I haven't seen it personally, but that's what this is telling you here. And that'll probably be in some of these five-star raids. Now, my guess is maybe it'll be an EX raid boss or something like that. Kind of like, you know, uh, Mew, or not Mew, but Mewtwo was. And then we had all those forms of Deoxys. Maybe that's what they do with Hoopa. Deoxys, again, being a mythical, we didn't get Deoxys at um, Go Fest or anything like that, to my recollection. Um, maybe we did, but I don't think we did. I think that showed up in EX Raid, so here this is. If it did, forgive me, but uh, I believe they might follow suit here with that. Keldeo, Ordinary, and Resolute. So those forms are similar, saying there's a... Necrozma, which I don't know. I've never seen that Pokemon. I know, I know. I've only been on a few of these generations, and I'm learning these Pokemon as we go, too. But it's got Dawn Wings, Dusk Mane, and it's got its normal forms. And they're saying it's a prominent legendary from Alola, and it's got four forms, you know, uh, a Psychic form. In addition to that, a Psychic slash Steel, a Psychic slash Ghost, and then a Psychic slash Dragon, which... That last form sounds pretty cool, if I'm being honest. Uh, Shaman, Sky and Land. They're, now, they're saying all this stuff is in the code. Now, there was an update, I want to say yesterday. So, all of this could be in there, and they're just telling you they're removing bugs or something like that. You know that's their MO by now. So, all that is pretty legit. Viblight, uh, I can't pronounce this one. But, uh... It's going to have all these forms. The Wishy Washy School and Solo. I'm looking forward to that because I was playing some Pokemon Snap and I saw a bunch of these Wishy Washies in a cave and how they came together to form a, uh, a big one. Looked pretty cool. But yeah, uh, Vivlon or Vivilon is based, they're saying they speculate it's going to be regional where they're going to have different patterns and different real world locations. So uh, kind of like Basculin is what they're going with, so that should be cool. Um, they're saying wishy-washy might be small, like Tynamo, which I can see that, and then the school form will be, you know, a really big form. Maybe they require you to evolve it to get, collect, like, a whole bunch of them. Maybe you need 400 candy like you did for Noibat. It's going to be something different from the norm, you know. Uh, I couldn't see them making you collect 400 of them in your deck or in your your storage space but you know you never know something other than collecting 400 candy would be uh welcome maybe they have you have it as your buddy and walk you know a certain distance who knows so that's everything that they've got here that was pretty neat i'm going to end this part of the recording there let me know what you guys think uh do those leaks sound legit to you is that something that you're looking forward to I know I am. I have no idea uh, when all of that is going to come to uh, fruition, but um, bring it on. So that out of the way, what I was actually talking about was the stuff that I had going on in the game. There's a research that, you know, it, it could be wrapping up right now. We're going to go look and see some footage that I captured in addition to what I'm just showing you now. So after GoFest, they promised you there was an ultra unlock. Within that, there was going to be a lot of returning Pokemon going in and out of time, right? This is all a build up towards Hoopa. At least that's what they want you to think, right? Porygon is back. Shieldon is back. Cranidos is back. Two of those Pokemon have a new shiny that's debuted, and that's going to be the Shield On and the Cranidos. I have not got the shiny for either one. I'm still on the hunt for the Cranidos. But uh, as far as the legendary goes, they brought back Dialga, this time with a shiny. So those of you who are like Palkia and Dialga, I expect them to come when, uh, you know, those two Pokemon remakes come out later on in the year. They gave them to you early. Maybe they just bring them back around again later on in the year. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see what they do. But uh, 
hey, if it's out here now, awesome. So that out of the way, your boy did get a shiny Dialga. It was, it was when on, I was on the break of having a breakdown almost, on the verge of having a breakdown. I was sitting there in my car complaining to another uh, Pokemon Go master. Or I don't know what you would want to call it, but just another person saying, hey, you know what? Uh, I think the game is biased against me. Given all this money and time and energy, and I don't have the shiny yet, and of course, as soon as I finish that rant, I got the shiny. Uh, but I'm still going to do raids. It's not the end. I'm not one of those people who, or at least I try not to be, forgive me if I ever was, where as soon as I get what I'm looking for, I don't post raids or share or contribute because there are a bunch of people who, they're, we're all dependent on each other to get these raids. So I just want to put that out there to remind you to do your part. Even if you don't want to be, you don't want to use a raid pass, you can take advantage by inviting five people and jumping out and letting them do it. But just make sure that they're all in the raid or in the lobby before you jump out. Otherwise, it's almost as if you never invited anybody. So uh, keep that in mind. There's the unknown that they gave you that can be shiny. You know, there's, there's other Pokemon out here that you can do by yourself. You don't necessarily need a group of people to do, but... Uh, that unlock part one is out right now and it's going until Tuesday, August 3rd. So there's still some days left that I could ride around and probably get one of these Cranidos. You never know how it's going to work out. But it wasn't that bad of a research. It was one of those where you see a bunch of Porygon, you get sick of them, and the next thing you know, you need them. There was a, a research, uh, yeah, where it was like catched. Uh, some of these Porygon, I don't remember which one it is here, but yeah, you you, you needed it. Uh, Ammonite and Kabuto, those came back. Um, it was fun for what it was, but I'm glad that I, I'm done with that. So uh, I'm looking forward to part two on Tuesday, and I expect the legendary in that category to be Palkia with a shiny form. So we'll see, I know the silhouettes are out, I currently don't have them to show off to you guys. They did have a a nice little spotlight hour that had not to, and nobody was really excited about that. But it gave you, you know, some transfer or, or some evolve XP times two. So if you had those Pidgeys, that was the event for you. And hopefully you got to take advantage of it. Unlike me, I was not able to because although I was catching some stuff, I wasn't really evolving anything. I didn't want to, I guess, use a lucky egg. There's a spot or a raid hour, excuse me, today. So I'm probably going to jump on that and do my part to help some of you guys who may not have the Dialga, the shiny one also, to help you get that. So we'll see. Look forward to seeing you guys out there as we adjust to uh, these trying times that are still still going on it feels weird to continue to say that but you know we go through these waves where you don't need the mask anymore things are getting better to oh wait don't 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 take off the mask just yet <clears throat> oh wait you're vaccinated oh but you can still get covid just be safe uh protect yourselves um love all you guys i'm gonna end the video here like comment subscribe share Stay tuned to these live streams. I'm going to play some more of these games that you've seen me playing on Twitch. Check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Captain Sensation. I'm on Twitter. Look me up there, CPT Sensation. Obviously, I'm here on YouTube. Continue to support your boy here. Show some love. Uh, past, new, present, old subscribers. I appreciate all of y'all and uh, what you've done for me over the years. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep having fun and making content. Um, I'm going to jump on some Zelda Skyward Sword. I haven't messed with that in what feels like a few days. So um, I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Of the yellow hat guy out. Captain Sensation!